Dave, could you tell me a little bit more about CDK Engineering and what you guys do here? Uh, we manufacture um, seals for the, predominantly for the food industry, the hydraulic pneumatic seals. Um, we've got some machinery that um, make them CNC machines, but they are just dedicated plastic or rubber turning components. Um, we've gone into doing metal components as well. Um, we've got our, our machine here, and we do some um, Ali bronze um, components as well. Um, which has allowed us to offer a better one-stop shop for our customers. Now, the turning center market is a very, very busy market. Why did you opt for the Doosan Lynx brand? Um, Doosan offered a very good machine. Um, we looked across the market um, and we also looked at the finance packages that were able to, to offer us and it was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And why did you opt for the Y-axis? We were buying some components in from abroad and we wanted to be able to manufacture them in-house. Um, that This enabled us to be able to do that um, and also to manufacture the, the metallic components as well. We've been looking at doing um, drilling and milling um, on the um, Y-axis, um, but also having the C-axis has enabled us to do some rather complex um, one-part piston seals. And based on some of the components you've got uh, and you've shown me today, the type of cuts that you're taking, how does that machine actually handle the vibration here? Uh, the machine's been very good. We've been um, working with a tooling company on getting the maximum amount of um, material off in one go. Um, without, we have to look at our um, surface finish as well. And this, we've been increasing the um, cutting speeds and the depth of cut all the way along. We've even tweaked it um, last week and instead of taking half hour to, m to manufacture five components, we've got it down to 20 minutes um, and it's also increased the um, surface finish and the tool life as well. Based on the driven tools that you've got on the links here, how do you set them up? Um, we've actually got two driven tool heads on here that are variable angle. So we can adjust that to a given degree um, and we actually do um, drilling reaming and also milling slots um, at an angle as well. Um, it causes a few headaches trying to get that set up because it's not at a certain standard angle. Um, but we worked with Mills um, on this and they were able to help us and they've been very, very helpful. How about the backup? Backup's been brilliant. Absolutely second to none. Um, they're on the end of the phone, they're engineers. Um, we've become good friends with them as well. Um, the sales, sales staff pop in every now and then just to check on how we're doing, how we're getting on. Um, we've had a great um, training um, package with them as well. Um, myself and my engineer went up for a week um, learning how to program the machine. And the guys know everything, what they're doing up there. And, and it's good to see the other machines they've got up there as well. Um, hopefully we're going to be looking at getting a, a, a milling machine from them as well at some, some point later on in the year and maybe even update this to a, a twin spindle machine. And any OEM or any companies looking for some help, do you have capacity to offer? We've got plenty of capacity to offer. We're running um, single shifts through the week. We've got um, the option to run a twin shift, night shift. Um, we're, we're keeping our manufacturing times down so we're not having to do four or five week lead times. Um, yeah, we can cope with anything with them.